Welcome to One Crack News. It's your boy Carcino here. Let's talk about it. The business and the way the market works is entirely different. You got to look at things as it appears. And the things that you ignore as a human being are things that you normally should pay attention to. And you know you should. Because there's something in your inner conscience that tells you these are the things that are very important. And you're seeing it happen very frequently in front of you. You might need to get involved. California's homelessness uh, crisis is spiraling out of control. The mayors want to solve it with tiny homes and trailers and basically floating apartments as a, a way to put a band-aid on the problem. Los Angeles, Stockton, San Jose, you know, they've seen their homeless populations rise in the recent years due to fires, uh, high costs, um, a lot of overcrowding. Many people are fleeing California to find better homes in other places. And the revenue, and a lot of companies are shutting down. Uh, a lot of different businesses have moved to other cities because California is very expensive. So, those states, uh, that state, period, has a very large um, issue going on that they need to indulge. You know, and um, Eric, Michael, and, and Sam, the three mayors, the three cities in Los, you know, California are out there trying to make things work. Well, homelessness is a housing crisis. And people need to just stop trying to ignore the problem. They deal with the problem at all. They know what the problem is. And the problem is that you have you have something that you know is a major problem and that is when you see the homeless out there they're called the homeless right no home that's a housing crisis and there's a need to have more than this one solution for this if you want to know how the homelessness crisis has gotten in California, just turn to four square miles Main Street of Los Angeles. Skid Row. Okay, Skid Row residents are some of the poorest residents in this country. Residents sleep in tents surrounded by discarded needles and feces, and you know, all their stuff is in trash bags, and it's it's a very poor sight. You know, people getting diseases from rats on the sidewalk, you know. Some people, you know, they only wash up when, you know, the fire hydrant broke. And this is California. This is Los Angeles. L.A., home of the movie stars. And, and it's just like crazy. And San Jose and Stockton are facing the same crisis. And California is definitely, if you're in California, you better look out. It is not good. Not good at all. So everyone's trying to come up with a way because the governor is going to lose his position. But this is a homeless crisis. But they was like, no, it's not. Less than 1% of California residents are homeless. Yeah, but the state represents nearly a quarter of the nation's homelessness population. Because California is home to four of the 10 top 10 cities 
for homeless people in the country, including Los Angeles, where they have about 38,000 homeless people walking around. That's this year alone. The homeless population has risen by 16%. And people got to understand that these residents are experiencing homelessness. It's not always the picture that they have of what homelessness is. There are people with very little means, mental health issues, drug addictions, addictions, but many of them are just the same people who was working in the city, who had jobs and just couldn't make it. They weren't making enough money. You know, one guy was a father who was laid off from his job, even working his entire life. And he was struggling to provide for his four kids, you know? And they're living out of their van in a designated parking lot. They were a successful family, meaning that the father was taking care of his family and providing for them. And next thing you know, he's out of a job, can't find work. They have to move out of their home, lose their house, and now they're living out of a van in a designated parking lot. It's crazy. Seventy-five percent of Los Angeles residents' land is still zoned for single-family property. So now they're going to try to tiny homes, like these little small houses, you know, to try to help, like similar shelters that they did back in 2016, those little tiny houses. And maybe this could be a, a solution to this problem, but I really don't have a solution problem but many people need to come together to try to talk and find a way around it because the economy is screwed up and the economy is so bad that there might not be a returning back to the promise everyone's dreaming of going back to the 90s or the 80s those days are gone and it's like there's no getting them back Get that back, a lot has to lose. I don't know. Just letting you know right now, this is where we at. It's something to pay attention to, definitely, if you're in California. I'm gone. Um, don't forget to support my page. Uh, hit my cash app up. I'm Carcino. That's K-A-R-C-E-N-O on the cash app. I thank you for your time.